Over the last two years, it has become more difficult than ever to build up your workforce with reliable talent. The job market in the US has become extremely competitive and many employers are unsure how to find the right people to join their team. And once you find the right person, how do you compel them to join you instead of the thousands of other companies who are hiring right now? In this video, I wanna walk you through how we use video marketing to find top talent for our clients and their organizations. We'll walk through the benefits of using video to attract talent to your organization, how to set up a talent attraction ad campaign, and we'll even show you some real life examples of how we have helped our clients clients grow their teams. If you own a business or are part of a hiring team, you know how hard it is to find people who are willing to work hard and commit to your goals. Right now, people can take their pick of just about any job they want for salaries much higher than they would have been a few years ago. To get started, let's talk about why video is an ideal tool for talent attraction. Posting your job opening on Indeed, LinkedIn, or Facebook is great, but your listing will quickly disappear into the sea of other listings and posts on these networks. Video content about your brand and your job opening offers a way to stand out from the crowd and captures the attention of potential applicants, especially if you are paying for ad placements. By setting up a paid campaign on Facebook or LinkedIn, you can make sure thousands of people or even millions of people see your job opening and apply. People are the core of any business. So attracting the right people and getting them to commit to your organization and your culture is crucial. In order to attract long-term talent, you first have to build their trust. Video can help you communicate your brand's values and culture, which will make people want to join you for reasons bigger than just the amount of money you can pay them. Make videos about the problems you solve for your customers and the big picture vision of your company and you will be sure to build trust among the people you want on your team. Imagine for a moment that you are someone looking for a job and you're trying to decide between two companies in the same industry. One has a simple job posting. We've all seen these before. It's all text with the roles and responsibilities clearly listed. The other company has the same thing, but in addition, they have created a series of video content that has been targeting you in your LinkedIn and Facebook feeds. The videos show testimonials of people who work for the company talking about why they love the culture, they show what a day in the life at the company looks like. They highlight the CEO talking about the vision of their brand and how this new role will play a part in pursuing that vision. Now, if you were going to apply for one of these positions, which would you choose? Most people will choose the option with video because of the story you are able to tell through the content. Now let's look at how you actually go about setting up a campaign to generate job applications. So we're gonna jump into my computer screen here and I'm gonna show you some of the basic steps to creating a, a recruitment campaign. Now you can do this on almost any social media platform now. Um, we're gonna be using Facebook as, as an example today, but this could be done on uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, just about any platform on the market today. Now before I actually start creating the ad, I wanna explain something quickly. We get this question a lot. What's the difference between what we do here with you know, managing Facebook ad campaigns versus just clicking the boost post button. So a lot of our clients have done that before, haven't really gotten great results, uh, but not many people really know the difference between the two. So this is actually directly from Facebook's website explaining the difference between boosted posts and Facebook ads. So it says a boosted post is a post to your page's timeline that you can apply money to in order to boost it to an audience of your choosing. This is the simplest way to advertise on Facebook. Now what this does typically is you create a post on your Facebook page, you click boost posts, you put some money towards it, and it basically just shows that post to more people in your network. But you're pretty much just deciding a basic target audience, a max budget, and how long you want to run your ad. There's not a whole lot of advanced features here. So if you want to try that, that's a great, simple and easy way to get started. Um, but there's a lot more you can do with some of the advanced features. So. Rather than boosting posts, what we do is actually set up um, intentional targeted Facebook ad campaigns. So right here it says, what more can I do with Facebook ads? Uh, you can choose different ad placements. This means you can place it on Facebook feeds, um, audience network, Instagram, Instagram stories, Facebook stories. You can get really, really uh, specific with those options. Uh, you can use specific ad objectives. So you can choose an ad objective early on that will help you focus on basically which campaign type best aligns with your current business goals. You can maintain creative control and you can use advanced targeting capabilities. So definitely a lot more you can do here to, 
To get started with this, uh, we usually recommend going to business.facebook.com and setting up a free business manager account. It gives you a lot more customization and advanced targeting features. One more quick thing before we get started, um, I wanted to share a helpful tool to you, the Facebook ad library. Uh, if you Google Facebook ad library, this will pop up. And basically this gives you access to showing exactly what ads are currently running in the marketplace. You can even search your competitors and see what they're doing so that you can make sure your ads are really gonna stand out. So you can choose location. In this case, we would choose employment to only show employment ads. I'm just gonna type in Lansing, Michigan and see what pops up here. So you can scroll through and see all of the current employment ads that are running. For this example, I'm going to be putting together a plumbing ad. So I'm gonna search the word plumbing. This will show you specifically all the different plumbing ads that are running. You wanna make sure you're gonna stand out against your competitors. So this is a really helpful tool to check out. Okay, so to get started, I'm in our business manager account right now through Facebook. Uh, all you need to do to get started is click the green create button, uh, name your campaign, your ad set and your ad, and then click continue. Now I've already gone through and set one up, so I'm gonna enter into the campaign that I've already created here. Now when you start creating a campaign, by default, this category option will be left blank, so none of these boxes will be checked here. Um, it's really important to check the box next to employment if you're doing a recruitment campaign. Uh, it explains the reason for that down here. So if you click this, it says it helps prevent discrimination. Facebook's advertising policies prohibit advertisers from using our ads products to discriminate against individuals or groups of people. Uh, so by checking that box, there are a little bit less targeting options that you have access to. They wanna make sure you're not targeting based on age or gender or uh, anything like that. Uh, and right down here, it lays out specifically what it changes when you check that box. So there are modified audience options. You cannot select age or gender. And some detailed targeting options are removed versus if you were just doing a regular e-commerce campaign or awareness or any of the other options. Uh, there's some modified form options and increased transparency. Uh, so the ad library contains all active ads running across our products. It helps make advertising transparent by giving people more information about the ads they see. So just be aware if you don't check that box and you're trying to recruit through Facebook ads, Facebook will almost immediately flag it and you can actually get your account turned off and banned if you do that too much. For campaign objective, we want to do lead generation. This can vary um, depending on your hiring process, but what we've, what we've seen really good results in is lead generation, specifically with the lead form directly in Facebook. So that when people are scrolling, they see your ad, they can apply right in Facebook. They don't have to click out to your website. Um, it, it's all done right in the app. So it's really, really seamless. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the ad set level here. Uh, so again, instant forms is what we usually use. Uh, it lets people submit a form directly in the app. If you'd rather do automated chat, you can do that, or phone calls, it's completely up to you. Uh, make sure you have the correct page selected here. And for this section, really the main thing is just the budget uh, and the schedule. So um, you can do daily budget, you can do lifetime budget. Um, lifetime is basically just saying, I wanna spend you know, $5,000 total over the course of three months or whatever the case may be. Um, you can choose a start date and you have the optional uh, set an end date down here. Okay, here's where it gets interesting and exciting. Um, you can start targeting specific locations and specific interests. So like I said, we're gonna pretend that this is a, an ad trying to hire someone for a plumbing company. Um, so the first thing I've done here is excluding people who currently like or follow my Facebook page. Um, this is optional, you don't have to do this, but what we've found is that if you're already posting job ads on your Facebook feed, the people who already like your page are most likely going to see those if you're posting those consistently. So what we're really trying to do here is reach people outside of our current following. So we're basically telling Facebook, do not show these ads to anyone who already likes our page and is connected with us. After that, you can go in and select your locations. So. You can keep this really simple if you'd like to, you can just choose one location. Uh, but what I've done here is actually added in a bunch of different um, circular areas. You know, if we were looking to kind of just hire in the general mid Michigan area, you can do that. Um, you can expand the size of these 
radiuses if you would like to. Um, another cool option is that you can actually just do one location per ad set, but create multiple ad sets with a uh, specific location associated to each one. That way you can kind of test and measure which locations are we hiring from at the lowest cost and at the, the most qualified uh, leads. Okay, once you have your location set, um, you have age and gender here. Again, with employment and recruitment campaigns now, because of discrimination, they don't let you change these. So these are all grayed out. Um, so it's targeting of people of any age, any gender, but it does give you options to uh, add some specific targeting options here. So um, I've put in just a few, you can get really, really detailed with this and, and look through all the different interests, but you know, Facebook has all of this data on its users of what they like, what kind of things they're clicking on, what kind of pages they follow. Uh, and so if someone is regularly following things related to plumbing or skilled trades or construction, um, Facebook knows that and they're gonna show these ads specifically to them. So this is really powerful. Uh, I am consistently amazed at the amount of data Facebook has on its users and how accurate it is. So. Just put in here, you know, again, this is pretty basic, but put in here as many different interests as you can. Right now it's gonna show this ad set to anyone who has one of those interests. If you wanna get really granular with it, you can click narrow audience. Um, and you'll see here it says, and must also match. So you could say, show it to anyone who has one of these interests, but also has this interest, whatever you type there. And you can add as many of those as you want. So you can get really, really specific. If you're just getting started, this bottom option here, you should probably keep it on just automatic placements. Uh, Facebook will choose where it shows up for you for the best ROI, uh, whether that's in the Facebook feed or on the side of the screen or in Facebook Watch, Instagram Reels, uh, Audience Network, they have tons of options. Um, if you want to have complete control, you can click Manual Placements, and then you can actually go in here and check the boxes next to which placements you want your ad to show up in and it'll show you a little bit of a preview uh, of what that placement would look like. But again, for most people, we recommend just leaving it on automatic placements if you're just getting started. Okay, so now we are getting down to the ad level. This is where all of the creative stuff comes into play. You're adding your images, your videos, your text, your links. Um, so again, just make sure you have the correct Facebook page uh, checked here. Instagram, if you're running anything on Instagram, uh, you can choose to do a single image or video. Uh, or a carousel, which is when you have multiple images you can swipe through. Uh, this is where you'd click to um, add images. I just kind of threw one up there as a, a placeholder. Um, obviously, I wouldn't use that if this was a real hiring campaign. You can choose your text here. And again, it's good to put as many details as you can here. Um, anything to do with your salary or benefits or reasons why people might be compelled to click on your ad and, and apply. For call to action, if you are doing a, a lead form rate in Facebook, I definitely recommend keeping this checked as apply now, because then you'll see right here, there's this big button. They can tap that and immediately this form is gonna pop up um, and you can edit what questions you're asking and what information you want from them in this form. Uh, the cool thing about this is Facebook has a tool that they released, I think just in the last year or so, called the Lead Center on your Facebook page. Uh, if you go to settings, you'll see it. It says lead center if you're running these ads. That basically serves as a database for every person who has applied for uh, a job through your lead forms. So it'll have everything sorted by date. You can sort it by name, by location. Um, you can check boxes on based on their status. So if you've contacted them once or twice, you can check that box. If it's a bad lead, you can check that box. Um, with these kinds of ads, you typically get a lot of leads coming in. Uh, not all of them are gonna be qualified, so it's important to follow up with each one and, and keep it organized as you go. Once you've got all these options in place here, um, you just go ahead and click publish and the ad will go through a review process. You'll see on the home page here, um, you'll see the status of the ads. So right now it says in draft here. Uh, once you click publish, it'll probably say pending review. And then once it goes live, it'll say um, that it's actually live and showing in people's feeds. Of course, as you go, uh, all of this will be filled in with data. So this is our test account, but let me go to one of our live accounts and just show you uh, what it would look like if you had a bunch of different ad sets running. Okay, so this is an actual ad account of one of our clients that we manage. So we set up this campaign for them um, sometime last year, and they've seen a lot of 
good success from this and they've hired a lot of people. I'm gonna blur some parts on screen just to protect their, their data, but um, this is what it would look like if, you know, once you're actually running ads, all of this data fills in. You can see the cost per result. Uh, obviously some are higher, some are lower, and so that helps you kind of prioritize which ones to put money into. Uh, if one is performing at a higher cost, you can spend less money on that one and reallocate those funds to the ad sets that are really performing well uh, at a higher ROI, lower cost per lead. Um, so you can see here, I mean, just for example, this one has brought in 504 applicants. This one has brought in 480. This one was a reach campaign, so we're really just trying to get, get it in front of people. Uh, 682 people have seen that one. This one has brought in 843 applicants. This one is 495. Um, so we're, we're getting close to, if not surpassing, 2,000 applications on this one. And uh, this is a, a company that's hiring nationwide and they really need to hire a lot of people. So uh, this is kind of an ongoing campaign. Uh, yours may look different if you're just trying to hire one or two good people. One question we get a lot is how much should we spend on an ad campaign like this? It's a difficult question to answer because every project is a little bit different. Uh, with this one and, and with a lot of them that we see, you know, we, we typically recommend spending two to four thousand dollars a month on ad spend. Uh, if you're really serious about this and really trying to find the right people for your team. Um, you know, the alternative to running Facebook ads would be hiring a recruiting company and they can take up to 25% of a new hire salary as their commission. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to weigh um, setting up your, your ads versus using a, a recruiting company. So like I said in the beginning, there are a ton of options, tons of advanced features that, that we like to run with these ads, but at least this shows you a basic way to get started running ads uh, to start attracting top talent to your organization. Now let's look at a real life example of how we generated applications for one of our clients. A Midwest trucking company recently approached us with a big problem. They needed to hire drivers and quickly. Drivers who would embrace the company culture and commit to the organization. Without drivers, they were unable to fulfill their orders and were therefore hitting a ceiling with their revenue. Our team spent two weeks planning the content we needed and got everything scheduled. Our crew went out to their site for three days in a row and captured a series of videos that showcased their company culture, job responsibilities, team values, and a day in the life of a driver. We then took the footage and edited it down to five video placements and created a Facebook ad campaign to generate leads through a landing page and through lead forms. The results? To date, the company's ad campaign has reached 2 million people with over 4 million impressions, which converted to over 5,000 leads. The company has since hired close to 50 new drivers, solving their workforce problem and allowing them to focus on growing their revenue and developing new lines of business. If you're looking to grow your team and want to attract top talent, video can be a powerful tool when you tell a great story and target the right people in your employment campaigns. If you have any questions about creating video content or ad campaigns, leave a comment below or send us a message. To view our work, visit sleekfire.io. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.